Michael Beschloss lost his mind last night on MSNBC. Chris Hayes all in. Here's a clip. We're on the edge of a brutal authoritarian system, and it could be a week away. That's right. If you vote Republican next Tuesday, we are going to be in an authoritative state, like, you know, totalitarianism. It's coming. And that's not even the worst thing he said. What was at stake tonight and this week was the fact whether we will be a democracy in the future, whether our children will be arrested and conceivably killed. That's right. If you vote Republican on Tuesday, you're killing your children. No mention on his part of uh, the Democrats' stance on abortion up until the very last minute. No mention of that. But if you vote Republican Tuesday, you're basically killing your kids. As you know, Chris, six nights from now, we could all be discussing violence all over this country. There are signs that that may happen. May God forbid. And absolutely, God forbid. We should not have electoral violence next week at all. The one thing is, is that Beschloss thinks that political violence only comes from the right. We've had some incidences recently of some political violence, which we should condemn, absolutely, and we do condemn. But let's understand that political violence comes from both sides of the perspective, right? We could be six days away from losing our rule of law and losing a situation where we have elections that we all can rely on. If you go to his Twitter page, you'll find he's obsessed with p pictures of like Mussolini and tweeting these out because he only thinks that revolution or fascism can come from the right. That's his only way he thinks. He doesn't think it can come from the left. He doesn't think democracy is under attack by any way possible from the left, even though we understand the Biden administration, as reported by The Intercept just this week, told us that the Biden administration colludes with big tech on a regular basis to limit what we can say on the internet. And not that the right wouldn't do that, but it's currently being done by the Biden administration. A threat to democracy is from either side, even Politico, just in September, realized how far Beschloss has lost his mind when they wrote this article, this profile in the magazine, Capital City, Radicalization of Washington's Most Famous Historian. He's neutral on everything, said the subhead. Oh yeah, sure. He's neutral on everything, except the biggest issue of all, which is democracy, and to him, democracy, as we said, is only under attack by the far right. The historian must have missed the summer of 2020. He then went on and equated this point in time, this election right now, with 1860 and Lincoln's important decision to talk about preserving the Union and slavery in 1860 and in 1940 and Roosevelt's importance of stressing uh, the f war against Hitler and Hitler's expansion across Europe. Those, those are major historical events. Nobody now actually thinks, really, other than those that watch MSNBC, that we're at some type of inflection point that if you vote Republican, our country, our system of government, is really going to just disappear. Joe Biden is saying the same thing tonight. And a historian 50 years from now, if historians are allowed to write in this country, and if there are still free publishing houses and a free press, which, which I'm not certain of. Because the evil Republicans will take away the First Amendment. Are you kidding me? We're the, we're the ones that are defending the First Amendment. But if that is true, a historian will say what was at stake tonight and this week was the fact whether we will be a democracy in the future. Let me tell you what's at stake tonight. It's whether or not you'll be a laughing stock tomorrow <laughs> and in the future. When, when historians look back at the career of Michael Beschloss, this is the photo that they'll tweet out of him when he's absolutely positively lost his mind. From Plymouth, 
Massachusetts, behind enemy lines in America's hometown. I'm John F. Gately. You can call me Jack. Have a great day.